As a result of the reliance on electronic data, dental offices have become more vulnerable to security threats than ever before. The growing volume and sophistication of these cyber attacks suggest that dental practices will have to grow increasingly vigilant to ward off these particular threats. Many dentists believe that cyber criminals are not a threat to their small dental offices. They are absolutely incorrect. However, when choosing between a large corporation or a bank with security teams, firewall protecting access to these databases, and a dental office that has virtually no firewall or security team, dental offices will undoubtedly be the chosen target. In fact, many hackers specifically target small dental practices because they believe and know that the small business and the small practice will not and may not have the resources for sophisticated security devices and do not employ enforcement security policies that will affect their security. Dental practices are an increasing target for cyber criminals because they are an easy target and they have poor security controls. Dental offices have a vast amount of data, including names, health history, addresses, dates of births, security numbers, and even banking information on hundreds, if not thousands of patients. We have some clients that have eight to 10,000 patients stored in their computer systems. A threat of this information being stolen by a staff member or a cyber criminal is great and dental practice owners must, must, must address this concern before theft creates a legal nightmare for that particular dental practice. Not necessarily. It has been shown that human error causes the majority of personal health information data breaches and that actions of healthcare employees cause three times as many breaches as external attacks. The most common causes of data breaches in dental offices are theft, hacking, unauthorized access or disclosure, lost records and devices, and improper disposal of records. A significant portion of healthcare breaches as a whole are a result of lost or stolen mobile devices, tablets, and laptops. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, better known as HIPAA, requires healthcare providers to maintain the privacy of patient healthcare information and to take the necessary measures to protect this information from abuse by staff members, hackers, and thieves. Under the 2013 omnibus rule, the penalties imposed by healthcare providers for HIPAA violations are substantial. The monetary penalties can range from fines up to 100 or up to 50,000 per violation with a maximum penalty per year of $1.5 million. Now this is in addition to state penalties that the doctor may face and also this may be in addition to being sued by disgruntled employees whose healthcare information has been compromised. You know, it's absolutely critical for dentists to take the necessary steps to ensure that their practice is in compliance with HIPAA provisions regarding computer security. All computers should be placed in areas where the computer screens are not visible to patients or visitors, and encrypted passwords should protect access to each computer. Passwords should contain mixed case letters and include numbers or symbols, symbols and should be changed regularly. In addition, passwords should not be written down on their keyboards, kept on desks or surfaces where the public or unauthorized employees may be able to access them. Dentists should ensure that all staff members understand the importance of maintaining the privacy 
of patient health information. A strict internet and computer policy must be enforced, which includes prohibiting staff members from checking personal email accounts and surfing the internet where items aren't related to their business. It is also important that dentists ensure that all firewalls, operating systems, hardware, and software devices are up to date, strong, secure, and that wireless networks are shielded from public view. Antivirus software should be installed in every computer in the dental office and kept up to date and checked regularly. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. When assessing office data remotely, whether it be in a restaurant, Starbucks, wherever it may be, dentists should only use trusted and secured Wi-Fi spots and never, ever, ever use shared computers. Smartphones and tablets should be password protected to prevent easy access to patient information in case the device is stolen or lost. In addition, all hard copies of documents with patient information should be shredded. Finally, to ensure that a dental practice is HIPAA compliant, data transmitted to payers, healthcare labs, other medical providers must and should be encrypted to ensure that a hacker will not have access to this data during transmission. If a security breach in a dental office does occur, and it does occur more than what people think, it is imperative that appropriate action is taken immediately. Now this includes determining how the breach occurred and the extent of the breach. Also, if a security breach does occur, the owner of the dental practice must be very, very careful whom they initially contact and provide information to because any improper or accidental disclosure of information to a third party other than legal counsel for the dental practice owner may be subject to rules of discovery if litigation occurs, which would definitely increase the liability exposure for the practice owner. Also, HIPAA guidelines under the breach notification rules set out very and explicit items that every dental office must comply with if there's a breach. And, you know, depending on the type of breach and the extent of the breach, there are occasions when the U.S. Federal Trade Commission must be notified of the breach.